Today we're learning that Utah patient attended a BYU basketball game against Gonzaga two weeks ago before learning they were sick. We have team coverage of COVID-19 tonight. Max Roth and Spencer Joseph are looking at the impacts on your stocks as well as local hospitals. But we begin with John Franke in Provo with more on that possible exposure at BYU. John. Yeah, guys, you'll remember that basketball game against Gonzaga was one of the biggest years played, or one of the biggest of the year, played in front of a sellout crowd here at the Marriott Center. Some 19,000 people were inside the Serena. Well, among those thousands was that Davis County resident who has COVID-19. The school sent a series of tweets, including this one, that says the individual had mild symptoms on February 22nd, and the risk of transmission to others at the game is low. I spoke with the Utah County Health Department. They're currently trying to contact anyone that may have encountered that person. They tell me, though, this is not a cause for people who were at that game to panic. There's really no need to get to get all upset, to get worried. Really what what we're doing right now, what we've been actively doing over the weekend is working with BYU, coordinating very closely with the Marriott Center, finding out exactly where the, the person um, that has tested positive for COVID-19, exactly where they were sitting. And we're following the CDC guidance very, very closely. So we know that there's really a radius of six feet around that individual. So we were able to find out exactly who the ticket holders are. That in that six foot radius would be the most at risk. BYU added that there is, non -go there is no ongoing risk inside this arena and that the arena will not close. We'll stay down here this evening and bring you the latest updates as soon as we learn more. Reporting live in Provo, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.